free project management softwares, monday.com, ClickUp, and Asana. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the top free project management softwares that you can use and how all of these platforms stack up against each other. So let's get into it. Now, before I show you guys a in-depth version of what these platforms are really like when you use them, I'm just going to go over the pricing on all of these and not exactly the pricing. I'm just going to go over the free versions and I'm going to show you the difference in the free versions of all three of these project management software. So I will start off with monday.com. Now monday.com has unlimited boards, unlimited docs, over 200 templates, over 20 column types, and up to two members, and a Android and iOS type. So the limitation with monday.com and their free version is that you can only add two members. Now if you move on to ClickUp, you have 100 megabytes of storage, unlimited tasks, and members. So you can add as many people as you want on your ClickUp team and have as many tasks as you want. You also have a real-time chat, emailing, Kanban boards, and all of that other native time tracking available on ClickUp. And if we compare Asana's free version, you have unlimited tasks, unlimited projects. You also have unlimited messages. You can add up to 15 teammates. So on Asana, you can add 15 teammates. On ClickUp, you can add as many as you want. And on Monday, you can only add two teammates. So that is the most essential and basic difference between these three platforms is that the number of teammates you can add is really different. So if you are looking to only work alone and you only want to manage your own projects, then you can choose monday.com because it allows you only two teammates. But if you have a larger team and you're looking to use a project management software for a larger team, then you will definitely have to go with ClickUp or Asana. And if the number of people in your team exceed 15, then you are going to only be left with the option of ClickUp. Now, before deciding once and for all, I would recommend that you watch this video till the end so you can see what all three of these platforms really look like on the inside. Now starting off with monday.com you can see they have their navigation panel on the left and you can just see all of your filters over here. You have a basic workspace and you can create many other workspaces. Below that you have your notifications, inboxes, my work section, applications, members and everything and then you can have your account settings over here. Now next up is ClickUp and on ClickUp you have your navigation panel panel on your left you have your favorites you have your spaces and dashboards as well so you can just click on your space over here and if you want to change a entire workspace you can just click on the bottom left over here and then change your entire workspace and then you have your workspace settings over here as well now if we compare that to asana you have all of your workspaces over here you can see all of your home my tasks or inboxing reporting portfolios and goals then you have your sales and marketing boards that you have over here and if you click on your account over here you can go into your more settings and you can see right now you're in your sales workspace and if you click on sales for brand b then this will be a totally different workspace that will be opened up in a new uh, tab so in terms of workspace integrations um all three of these platforms are really separate different workspaces and allow you to create tasks and different dashboards pretty similarly. The overall look of Asana and Monday.com is pretty similar. You're not going to find a lot of difference in the operation of both of these platforms. While on ClickUp, you're going to find the interface to be a little different. Um, it could be in a good sense or it could be in a bad sense. I personally do like the ClickUp interface because it's a lot more user friendly, while Monday.com is a lot more detail oriented. So if you want Want to take a look at details if you're very concerned with how everything is going and if you want to actually see where your project is at you want to know each and everything then you definitely should check out monday.com because it allows you the options to view details and as view descriptions view details view everything at a glance and asana is pretty similar asana is like the mid version of clickup and monday.com it has some things that are similar to clickup and some others that are similar to monday.com now if we were to take a look at the goal setting you can see they have a goals tag in both Asana and ClickUp over here. While on Monday.com, there is no set section for setting goals, but if you want, you can set certain goals, but that is through tags. You don't have a, a specific goal section on Monday.com, which I find to be a bit sad because setting up goals can really motivate a team, but here on Monday.com, it's very unlikely that you're going to be working in a team on the free version, so it makes sense why they did not add a goals section on the free version of Monday.com. Now, there are so 
some limitations to Asana in comparison to ClickUp as well because ClickUp enjoys a time tracking software of their own. So you can track time on ClickUp for the people that are working for you, for your assignees, for your teammates, or you can even track your own time as well. While on Asana and Monday.com, there is no such feature available. So if I add a task over here and if I want to track the time, I can do it on their any of their native apps. I would have to add some integrations or start off with a new time tracking software. Now, moving on, the general workspace of all three of these platforms is pretty great to use. So if I was to go into the basic dashboard, so I have like three dashboards for marketing or product research or whatever. If I wanted to create a new task, I would just click on new item over here like this. So I'm just going to add an item, delete this board, and then I'm going to go on to my new board like this. So I would just click on add item and I could add any item like um, Mats 20 like this. And now I have this task and I can set what day of the week it is, what kind of tag I want, what room it is in, how many credits it has, any notes. And I can just scroll over here and I can click on this plus over here and I can add more statuses. I can add time tracking, dependencies, formulas, text, drop down, sub items, numbers, number lines, any of that good stuff I can add over here. And this is why I was saying that Monday.com is great for people that are detail oriented because you can add all of these tags to a task that you just created well if i was to compare this to click up if i click on click up and i click on task and i'm just going to click on task and i can maybe add math test 02 then these are the only fields that i can really fill in i can't add anything else so i can't add anything that is very custom i can only set priorities dates um tags estimate task times templates dependencies and watchers but for monday you can customize your tags and fields as well so it allows you a lot more detail orientation for your own customization so i can just click on create task although the task is pretty great over here as well you do get assignees due dates priorities and you can click on add a column and you can create your own columns as well but they are done a bit better on monday and on asana it's like midway so i can just click on add tasks and i can add math like this and you can click on plus over here and then you can add projects and you can add due dates assignings all that good stuff but on asana.com if you want to add more custom fields and if you want to add anything else other than your basic things that are even available on ClickUp, you're gonna have to upgrade so on the free version of asana it's pretty much similar to ClickUp as well so in general when you're using all three of these platforms you're gonna find the interface of ClickUp to be more friendly but you're gonna find the interface of monday it might be a bit overwhelming at the start, but you might end up liking it more because of how easy it is to uh, navigate through Monday and find all of the information that you're looking for. While on Asana, it's pretty much midway. You're going to like it, but you might find that some things Asana is just not that great at. And you might find that if you're looking for details, you're going to find details, but you're not going to find all of the details. If you're looking for ease in use, you're going to find it easy to use, but it's not going to be as easy to use as ClickUp. So it's the midway of both of these platforms so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to choose the better project management software for free for you i would recommend that you try all three of these because they are free so you don't really have to worry and depending on your team's need and your personal preferences you can choose the one that suits you the best make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and share this video with someone who might need it and i will catch you guys in the next video